It's garage sale season, y'all, and we hit some garage sales this weekend. So I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about what we found. We found these. These are old Hickory Chair Company chairs, okay? And they are a little bit of a bolo. Just kidding, bad. If you happen to see them, you better pick them up because they are worth some money. I'll be posting all the comps at the end of the video. I'm gonna show you everything that we got. We got a whole bunch of collectibles. They will all be posted in my eBay store. Today is Sunday. It may take me a day or two. I will get it all done. But for this video, I will make sure that all of the comps are listed with the items. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to take a look at this chair real quick, just so that you know what you're looking for if you're ever out and about and you happen to spot an old hickory chair. You're going to be looking for a mark, okay? And these marks normally are just anywhere on the chair, on the legs, like that one right there. See it? Old Hickory Chair Company. Now, these um, have been around forever and ever and ever and ever. And so you'll just basically have to look at the style of your chair to kind of figure out uh, what year it's from. This particular settee here, um, we believe it's like from the 1930s, 1940s. I could be totally wrong with that. We'll know more. Um, as I go go on with this video because I'll be able to stop and do a little bit more research But they all have that same mark on them all three of these we picked these up at a garage sale and we pay $75 for all three pieces So right here behind me is how I um, organize all of my items that I have at my booth at my vendor booth so I go garage sales if there's anything that I have to clean up or anything it comes into my garage I clean it up put it um, of course take it in the house to be washed if it needs to and then I bring it out here and I store it we're gonna talk a little bit about these lamps here and here and how much I pick them up for and what I plan to sell them suckers for so let's go okay so first we have this lamp here really cool lamp all right, so all of these move around. It works. They all come on individually. You can have them all on at the same time if you want to. If you look real close, it is like a wood inlay on them. And then, of course, it is wood up here, too. It's just a really cool lamp. I haven't quite decided if I want to sell them in my booth or not, or if uh, I want to list them on eBay. I haven't really decided yet, but I just thought it was a super cool lamp. Next is this lamp here. Um, it has that spindle at the top, and then uh, these lights, like the other light, they all come on individually. They are swinging lamps. And it's just a really cool lamp. I mean, it kind of looks, to me anyway, I mean, I could be totally wrong, but it looks like a 50s lamp. Maybe even a 60s. But it looks real, real 50s. It works. Um, again, I'm not sure if I'm going to list this on eBay or if I want to um, put it in my shop. Now, behind here is this um, latch hook Garfield. I haven't seen one of these since I was a kid. Anyway, so I found this, and again, I haven't decided if I want to put that on eBay or if I want to put that at my store. I'll probably end up putting it in my store because it is over here with my store items. Along with this, it's like some kind of chicken bird coop thing, and I picked that up for $5. Now these, um, I don't know, they're like little curio cabinets. That ball out the way. But as you can see, paid $6 a piece for them. There are two. I'm thinking those are going to go to my booth. I'm going to hang them on the wall, and that way I can display um, stuff in them. Also, back here, I picked up this really cool Afghan blanket. It is from the 60s. I will take this inside, and I will get it washed. And then, um, if I decide to post it, I'll post it on eBay. I did already get a lot of this stuff listed on eBay. There are a few of them that I have not um, finished looking up the comps for. I held off just a little bit, but I will get them on probably here in the next day or two. 
So at this same garage sale, yard sale, I'm telling you guys, I have never in my life gone to a garage sale where you just hit the jackpot after the jackpot, after the jackpot, at the same garage sale. I think we spent the majority of our money at that one garage sale because it was just so much to look at. I always thought that whenever I found like a well-known name of an artist or something like that, bells would sound off. Tell you what happened. I'm looking through this same garage sale. He, the, the old man, the old gentleman, he used to be an antique uh, I don't want to say dealer, but he would go to like um, flea markets and set up like that a long, long time ago. And so he ha he has had all of this artwork and these chairs and these lamps and everything for years and years and years and years. They've been in storage. And so when he brought them out, I'm just digging through his art as he's still bringing stuff out. They're not even fully open. Uh, we actually got there like three hours before they were supposed to be open and we just said hey can we shop while you guys are unloading and they said yes so we were like sweet you know I pick up this picture and I'm looking at it and I'm like that can't say Picasso it just can't say Picasso so I put it down yeah I put it down I put it down I walked away and I saw some other pictures and I grabbed the other pictures which I'll show you here shortly but we left, we came back, of course we came back, because if not, bad on me, right? So we go back, sure enough, it's a real Picasso. Um, I pick it up, I start looking at the comps for it, picked up this Picasso, and of course here are the comps here. I was floored. A little part of me was like, I have found, finally arrived <laughs> to know what it feels like to actually be a real picker, right? A real junker, somebody who can, you know, see it and know what it is but not really because I walked away and left it there the first time but we won't tell nobody about that in the same pile this isn't even the same it just boggles my mind because it was all at the same garage sale it's not like it was a different place it's all at the same garage sale next was a Richard Slater original um uh, Oh, was it called a stereograph or something like that? It's not a lithograph, but it's kind of similar to it, I guess. I don't know. But I saw it, and I saw that it was numbered, and I saw that it was signed. And I grabbed it and picked it up. So this is the one that I bought, and then the comps for it. I was shocked. Are y'all shocked? Because I was shocked. I was totally shocked. Um, then in the same pile, one just grabs my attention it's this woman and her face is red and it kind of looks you know I don't know like a flapper you know from the 20s and I grab it and I pick it up and it just I can't get away from them just keep going back to this picture so I told my husband I said I'm, I'm getting it they're five dollars a piece I'm grabbing them and get it home do some research on it it's called a Tay Tay de Femme Rouge I hope I'm saying that correctly and it is the, the artist that did it was from 19, 1916, I believe. And the artist, ugh, my hair, and the artist is, um, let me see if I can say this right because I know it's going to come off terrible. Magdaliani? Magdaliani? <laughs> Magdaliani. I just butchered that. I know I did. It's, it's okay. But anyway, so this is the picture that I picked up and then, of course, the comps for it. I plan on tomorrow going out and taking all of them out of the frames and listing them and making sure that I get really, really good pictures of every single, you know, angle and everything so that people know what they are and that they're real. So I am pumped about this score at this one garage sale. Who would have thought? After we went to that garage sale, we got to looking and there wasn't very many garage sales happening, but... The ones that were happening, were happening. In the beginning of the video, you saw the latch hook Garfield. Well, I hadn't seen one of those in years, since I was a little kid. So here is the Garfield collection. This Garfield collection has a little bit of everything. The puzzles, I've already put those in my store, and several of these things in this picture I've already put in my store, but there is a lot of it. <laughs> so it will probably take me a day or two to finish it all up. However, the ones that I have listed, here are the comps for them. 
I was floored, guys. I think for the Garfield cups, each cup was 50 cents. And each plush, uh, Garfield plush doll was 75 cents. The little figure, blah, 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 blah. each figurine she sold for as like a whole set and she did them all for a dollar. A dollar. It was nuts. And then she did the puzzles for 50 cents. And then she had a normal puppet. Okay, so normal was one of Garfield's friends, in case you didn't know. And this puppet has there was no comps on it at all nothing not, I couldn't find anything I found one other eBayer that had their normal uh, normal their nor normal uh, puppet for sale and uh, so I listed mine comparable to theirs I hate and I always hate that because it always like gives me stress because I'm like okay do I list it above theirs do I list it under there I don't want this other seller to feel like I'm, you know, crowding them. I don't want to list mine way, way below his or hers, and then it would push their sales down. I want to make sure that I'm fair with, uh, with all of the sellers, or at least I try. I mean, not that every time I'm, you know, just hitting it, but I mean, I do try. I do try. Garfield was one of my favorite uh, cartoons as a kid, so, you know, there was a lot of nostalgia happening <laughs> while I was over there shopping all the little cool Garfield pieces. Um, at the same garage sale, I picked up this uh, heavy retro blanket, and I want to say it's almost like psychedelic because it's hot, hot, hot pink and lime, 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 lime green. It's real, or like a... <sighs> I would call it lime green. I guess some people would call it like a olive -y green, but to me, the two colors are just so, they're so combative with each other. Um, but no, I guess since it is from the 60s, it would be hot pink and olive green. But maybe the hot pink just makes the green look really, really good. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just rambling. Anyway, forget what I said. This blanket, uh, she had $7 on it, but like I said, at the very end, we bundled all of our stuff together. And so we got... All of our stuff, I think that with, with the price, and of course, they were reasonable prices. They were they were garage sale prices. The original price that she gave us was $98. And then I just asked her, because, I mean, they all they can say is no, right? But if you don't ask, you'll never know. And I asked her, I said, well, since I'm buying all of this stuff, would you make me a better deal? And she goes, how about $80? Sold. <laughs> so I have learned that. That is one thing that I have learned, that... If you possibly can, do throw it out there to try and, you know, get a little bit better deal. You are at a garage sale and you do want to be fair, but I mean, if you can save a little bit here and there, it all helps, right? Okay, so we're coming to the end of my little video. I wanted to share with you all the end result of those shoes I was telling you about. So last week I was telling you about um, the shoes and the um, camera. So there were two things that got listed last week. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch my video that I posted about the camera and about the Nikes. Those two items sold this week and uh, the camera already shipped off and the Nikes will go off tomorrow. These two sales made my week. Just made my week, guys. It just... Um, it just put a big old smile on my face. Um, here is the uh, end for the camera. And here is the end for the Nikes that just ended about 30 minutes ago. I am super pumped and I could just smack myself in the face for not grabbing the rest of those Nikes that were at that garage sale. <laughs> Cause you couldn't have beat that price, right? You couldn't have beat it. But, uh, but of course we walked off and left the rest of them there like dummies. <laughs> but lesson learned, lesson learned. Anyway, all right guys, so that's it for me. I hope that you enjoy my videos. If you enjoy this kind of content, again, please like, subscribe, and uh, leave me a comment. Those comments help me kind of know what you think, if there's anything that I missed, or if you have a tip or trick that you use whenever you go out garage selling, leave it in the comment. I sure would love to read it. Talk to you later. Bye.